Hi, uh, this tutorial is about uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. Um, for those of you who are beginners um, to Packet Tracer, just to let you know, this is uh, a bit older version. In fact, I'm still using uh, 2013. You might have the new version. All right. Anyway, let's uh, look at the very simple example. Uh, you know, to design uh, a simple network of uh, having just two PCs uh, connected to a switch and a router all right so for that uh, you just have to look at all this uh, uh, on the left here the tool uh, okay the first one is the router okay so normally we use either 1841 or 2011 all right most of the time I use 2000 series and the second one is the switches you can right you can use the first switch uh, which is a 24 port switch and the third one the devices I mean the second uh, row the first device and devices you can choose computers and laptops servers also here and the most important one is uh, the cables uh, for uh, PCs to switch with copper cross uh, you know router to router um, let's say a switch to switch uh, you know if you want to connect same devices right uh, a to a or b to b uh, we use uh, copper cross core copper cross core cable right now let's look at uh, okay at times i will use the third one here which is a notepad okay you can write some notes and uh, at any point of time you want to delete your configurations you can use this one to delete all right okay let's uh, look at uh, I'm going to take two PCs. Okay, I'm going to just drag and drop. Right. Uh, okay, one and then two. Right. So then connect that to a switch. So I'm going to pick up 34 port switch. Uh, right. Now let's click the cable right and uh, of course copper straight through cable place it on the switch normally I don't use zero one the first interface because uh, we reserve this for uh, the higher level connections right so choose a second interface choose fast internet you can see from red to orange to green and that's how the cables are being built okay once everything is green it means it's properly configured physically right second one so third interface right fast internet right um, all right so now uh, let's let's configure first the IP address so for those clients here so I'm going to um, pick up 192.168.1.2.255.255.255, which is uh, the default number mask for class C IP address, right? And I'm going to assign another IP here 192.168.1.3.255.255. Okay, this, is a, this is just a planning okay we haven't actually done the configuration right uh, click the PC okay once you click the PC you would get yeah the dialog box uh, pick up the third tab desktop IP configuration here as per our plan this is uh, 192.168.1.2 keep the default mask the gateway let's assign uh, 168.1.1 right okay that's actually for the router okay so you can close this and the second PC here same configuration IP 192.168.1.3 Right, the default gateway, which is the router interface, 192.168.1.1. We haven't configured the router, right? 
close it, close it. So just in case you want to connect, you want to check where the PC uh, and uh, I mean both the PCs are in the same network, you can always uh, check the command prompt, IP config, as usual, like the similar command prompt commands. Uh, yes, you have IP config 1.2, so you can type ping 192.168.1. Dot one. Well, I don't think so. One dot three, right? Okay, yeah. There you go. So you can actually connect uh, from PC to another PC, which we are the same network. One dot one is still not configured, which is a router. Okay. Um, all right. Let's configure a router. Okay. I'm just trying to adjust. Okay. Right. Now, um, click the router. All right, choosing the 2000 series router. All right. Okay. Now, what cable you will you use? Go to use copper straight cable. And this time, okay, you have two interfaces router. Okay, you have auxiliary console. You also have fast Ethernet. The first interface and the second interface. Okay, the first interface is always is always. Uh, denoted as 0 slash 0 and the second one is 0 slash 1 so we're going to use 0 slash 0 first all right and here I'm going to choose the very first interface here which are reserved for high level connections so by default you will see um, red dots right so this indicates that uh, obviously the, net, the router is not up yet so we need to configure so click the router Go to CLI. CLI is a command line interface. We always configure over here. Continue with configuration dialog. Okay. So of course we don't want to go to the dialog box. We prefer to use CLI. So press type no and then just enter. Okay. Now router. You are actually looking at the router. Uh, the first prompt. This is the first prompt, and this is. Uh, referring to a user mode right this is a user mode but you can't do much over here uh, perhaps what you have to do first thing is you have to enable first you can either type enable or you can just type en or you can after en you can also tap all right uh, okay so, so this is uh, yeah this is uh, you are now in the privileged mode actually um, but if you see if you're if you're in this prompt okay you're not in the privilege mode okay uh, you are just uh, in the user mode but if you're in uh, the hash prompt that means you have some kind of uh, root access right you have uh, administration access so we call this is a privileged mode okay now um, what you can do you can just tap show run okay show run it basically it shows the running configuration okay we haven't done anything the name of the router is uh, yeah the host name right this router uh, you can see here interface fast Ethernet 00, 00 not configured no IP address and here also no IP address right and nothing has been configured all right so we need to configure the router for that uh, in fact we need to uh, enter into configuration mode. Uh, you have to type configure, right? Or C O N F will do. Or you can just type tab key from here. Okay, configure or just C O N F uh, config T terminal. Yeah, it will enter into the configuration mode. Right. Um, okay. So right after this, what you have to do? You you got to call the interface. Okay, interface, uh, fast internet, you just type shortcut fast and then press the tab key. Let's choose the first interface 0 slash 0, which you have selected, right? And then notice that uh, you are in the interface mode, uh, configuration mode. Uh, of course, uh, IP address, you can press the tab key. Based on our planning, I would like to make it as 1.1, .1, which is a you know, default gateway 
and then the mask is uh, 255 255.0 okay and you got to type no shut because by default the interface is uh, down so you've got to type no shut to bring the interfaces up all right to bring the interfaces up so you will see by now the red becomes uh, over here turning to green all right so you can type exit you can also type exit go back to the back up to uh, you can even disable right <laughs> Can go back to the original prompt and close it here right um, what is the connection here here the gateway is 192.168.1.1 the mask is 255 255.0 okay right now how to check whether this interface is working obviously you can go back to the command prompt you can ping dot uh, one check whether yep there you go you can ping uh, once you ping and get a reply that means the router is working right so that's good and that's cool and uh, just take note of this configuration uh, this is a very simple configuration you got to know if you're first time configuring a router all right so hope you can uh, practice this uh, again and again to make sure that you're familiar with the configurations all right and uh, Okay, see you in the next uh, tutorial.